Welcome to a quick overview of the 1988 TV series Empty Nest. It's about a widowed pediatrician named Dr. Harry Weston who lives in Miami, Florida. He faces funny situations when his two daughters move out and he's left with an empty house. Stay tuned for some interesting facts about the series. Who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in it? Or maybe there's a scene or moment that really stuck with you. Share your thoughts below. So if you're ready to laugh, be surprised, and feel a bit nostalgic, keep watching. Let's take a trip back to Dr. Weston's life and his new freedom in an empty nest. We're excited to explore empty nest with you, so relax and enjoy. Share your favorite memory or experience from the show in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Empty Nest, a TV series from 1988, follows the story of a widowed pediatrician named Harry Weston, who lives in Miami with his two adult daughters. The show revolves around him adjusting to life after his daughters move out, leaving him an empty nester. Set in Miami, the series showcases the challenges and joys of Harry's newfound freedom as he learns to live alone for the first time in years. Alongside his beloved dog Dreyfus, he navigates the highs and lows of being on his own. The storyline often focuses on his interactions with his quirky neighbors and his patients, bringing about both comedic moments and heartfelt scenes. Key characters include his neighbor and best friend, Dr. Maxine Douglas, a sharp-tongued but caring colleague. Additionally, Laverne Todd, his sassy and no-nonsense nurse, adds comedic relief with her quick wit and colorful personality. The show received critical acclaim, earning multiple Emmy nominations and awards for its outstanding writing and performances. Its success even led to a spin-off series, The Golden Girls, featuring characters from Empty Nest. Overall, Empty Nest is a heartwarming comedy that explores family dynamics, friendship, and self-discovery in later stages of life. Empty Nest, a TV series that aired in 1988, featured a distinct opening sequence filmed outside the Weston home. Interestingly, in the fifth season, the perspective shifted, showcasing the house from the left side. Actresses Christy McNichol and Dinah Manoff, who portrayed friends on the show family in 1978, later portrayed sisters on Empty Nest. In a unique twist, Grace Zabriskie initially appeared as Eva, Harry's partner, in the premiere episode. Seven years later, she returned in the season finale, this time portraying Laverne's mother Scarlett. Throughout its run, Empty Nest offered viewers a blend of familiar faces and intriguing narratives, making it a memorable addition to television history. Empty Nest, a television series that aired for several seasons, featured Estelle Getty in the role of Sophia Petrillo, which she previously portrayed on The Golden Girls and The Golden Palace. Getty's tenure on Empty Nest spanned the last two seasons, marking her as the only star to reprise the same character across three shows for over a decade. Among the original cast, five members remained throughout the series, with only Mulligan appearing in every one of the 170 episodes. The show's theme song, Life Goes On, written by John Bettys and George Tipton, evolved over time, transitioning from a slower, melancholic rendition to a more upbeat arrangement with female backup singers starting in the fourth season. This transformation coincided with changes in the title sequence introduced in the third season. The enduring presence of Getty's character and the consistency of Mulligan's appearances contributed to the show's lasting appeal and nostalgic resonance. Empty Nest, a TV series from 1988, featured notable events and connections within the television industry. In 1994, one of its actors, Mulligan, received a cancer diagnosis yet continued working until his passing six years later. Dinah Manoff and Christy McNichol previously collaborated in the TV series Family on an episode named The Sleeping Gypsy. Furthermore, The Golden Girls' Empty Nests served as the pilot for Empty Nest, with David Leisure being the sole actor to continue from the pilot, albeit with a character name change from Oliver to Charlie Diets. These instances illustrate the interconnectedness and continuity within the television landscape. Empty Nest, a television series that premiered in 1988, featured characters Dr. Weston and Charlie Diets as the only two who never entered matrimony or engaged in long-term relationships. The absence of marital entanglements set them apart in a cast where relationships played a central theme. Actress Rue McClanahan shared an interesting tidbit about Park Overall, revealing that during breaks, Overall would spend her time roller skating in the parking lot of the production building. This off-screen detail adds a touch of personality to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the show. 
Despite the series being set in a fictional medical facility, the exterior shots of Community Medical Center were actually filmed at Hogue Hospital in Newport Beach, California. This practical choice for establishing shots provides a real-world backdrop to the show's fictional medical environment. These subtle details from the characters' relationship status to the quirky behind-the-scenes activities contribute to the distinct flavor of Empty Nest. The show's creators incorporated these elements to add depth to the characters and maintain a sense of authenticity in the portrayal of the medical setting. In conclusion, Empty Nest, with its unique character dynamics and behind-the-scenes anecdotes, stands as a noteworthy entry in the realm of television sitcoms from the late 1980s. Empty Nest initially started as a spin-off from The Golden Girls. After it didn't work out, they changed the cast. Richard Mulligan, Dinah Manoff, Christy McNichol, Park Overall, and Bear the Dog joined as new cast members. The show got a big makeover with the fresh faces. Despite a rough start, the show got better, and people liked it. This was because the new cast worked well together. Mulligan was the main star, while Manoff, McNichol, and Overall also did a great job. Bear the Dog was adorable and added fun to the show. As the show got more popular, they did something unexpected. They turned it into a Broadway musical. It was a mix of the original show and new stuff. Mulligan was still the lead, and they mentioned Manoff's role from the TV show. Mulligan, who was 55, was excited about this new project. People of all ages liked seeing him play a widowed doctor dealing with family stuff. Even though going from TV to Broadway was hard, it showed how much people loved the show. Empty Nest story is about change and not giving up when things are tough. It went from a small idea to a big success. It reminds us that good things happen when talented people work together. And it all started with a simple idea for a spin-off. Empty Nest, a TV series from 1988, features Laverne, who is good friends with Sandy Miller from the spin-off Nurses, played by Stephanie Hodge. The show draws inspiration from the British sitcom Father, Dear Father, where a single father lives with his two daughters and a large dog. However, in Empty Nest, the father is a widower, not a divorcee, and the daughters are grown women, not teenagers. Richard Mulligan and Bear the Dog, who played the dog on the show, had great chemistry both on and off the set. Richard often greeted Bear in the mornings, patting him, asking how he was doing, and giving him treats before sending him on his way. Empty Nest, a spin-off of The Golden Girls, made its debut in 1988. Despite her character, Emily, being portrayed as in her early 20s, Lisa Riefel, who played her, was only 18 at the start. Like Benson and The Golden Girls, the series enjoyed a seven-year run, marking the end of the With the Mattress sitcom era. It's fascinating how the show managed to captivate audiences with its unique blend of humor and heartwarming moments. The chemistry among the cast members, coupled with the witty writing, contributed to its enduring popularity. Over the course of its run, Empty Nest tackled various themes, from family dynamics to the challenges of growing up and finding one's path in life. Its relatable characters and engaging storylines resonated with viewers, making it a beloved part of television history. Indeed, Empty Nest holds a special place in the hearts of many, remembered fondly for its laughter and touching moments.